Today's industrial control market requires the OEM to create comprehensive panel designs that are easy to install in the field, provide excellent quality, and ease of maintenance throughout its life, all at the lowest possible cost. While this may present some inherent challenges, the application video will cover some of the best practices that help make it easier to meet those demanding requirements. We will discuss best wiring practices, including grouping and marking using terminal blocks, as well as general panel layout for end-user installations. At C3 Controls, we are committed to providing world-class industrial control products that are already designed and manufactured to meet the machine builder's needs. Our portfolio of IEC World Terminal Blocks is engineered to simplify your wiring and save you valuable installation time. C3 Controls Terminal Blocks are also proven to work in the most challenging applications. They undergo the most demanding tests are UL listed in CE Mark II. Excellent starting points for ensuring good panel quality are to follow the best practices for wire routing and terminal connections. While this may seem obvious, there are several items of notable importance. Wires should be run in vertical and horizontal patterns. These runs can be enhanced through the use of C3 Controls wire ducts, so long as you take care not to cross wires within the duct excessively. Using UL listed and CE Mark terminal blocks is another good way to ensure that your panel will perform as expected. Our IEC World Terminal Block products are made of the highest quality raw materials and come in a wide range of ratings and styles to meet your application needs. When wiring terminal blocks, terminating multiple wires into one block should be avoided. Terminal blocks should also be mounted and wired so that internal and external wiring does not cross over the terminals. Additional terminal points can be provided in a safer, more efficient way by the use of circuit bridges and or multi-conductor blocks. Terminals and terminal blocks should be clearly marked and identified to correspond to the markings in the drawings. Clearly legible permanent ink should be used as well. C3 Control's terminal block marking solution takes this one step further by providing excellent quality permanent inks with a factory direct custom or standard markers. Plotter systems are also readily available to provide a full marking solution on site. Another important determination in panel maintenance is the collection and grouping of circuits. High voltage circuits should be isolated using an insulated separating plate. AC and DC circuits should be separated and marked too. Another way to improve applying group panel wiring and AC circuits is to have all common lines terminated into a group of connected blocks with color coding for additional clarity. Thin rail mounted grounding terminal blocks, as well as power distribution blocks, are also easily used in a similar manner. This method of wiring simplifies the job for the local electrician by providing a downstream wire landing, ensuring that your panel is properly installed and maintained every time. This video captures just a few of the best practices which allow for better wiring and termination that create a longer lasting, easier to maintain panel. To learn more about how C3 Control's wide range of terminal blocks, power distribution blocks, and wiring duct will help simplify your wiring and save on installation time, visit c3controls.com.